हेलो गाइस इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टेट्रा हाइड्रो फ्यूरान टेट्रा हाइड्रो फ्यूरान यू कैन लुक एट द स्ट्रक्चर राइट हियर सिमिलर्स फ्यूरान अ लॉट आई हैव मेड अ वीडियो कवरिंग फ्यूरान ऑलरेडी यू कैन सी दैट द ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट देयर आर नो पाई बॉन्ड्स हियर एज दे वर इन द केस ऑफ फ्यूरान द प्रेफर्ड आई यू पैक नेम फॉर टेट्रा हाइड्रो फ्यूरान इज ऑक्सोलेन एंड द सिस्टमेटिक आई यू पैक नेम्स व्हिच कम अकॉर्डिंग टू द रूल्स प्रिस्क्राइब्ड बाय आई यू पी एस are 1,4 epoxy butane and oxacyclopentane the compound is classified as a heterocyclic compound specifically a cyclic ether heterocyclic meaning that the chain has a hetero atom in it which is oxygen atom right here it is a colorless water miscible organic liquid with low viscosity you can see in this uh, photo right here as well that it is colorless and it does not look quite viscous as well it is water miscible it is mainly used as a precursor to polymers so it is very important in polymerization reactions it is polar and has uh, a wide liquid range hence it is a very versatile solvent now let's look at the production of thf about 200000 tons of tetrahydrofuran are produced annually the most widely used industrial process involves the acid catalyzed dehydration of 1,4 butane diol you can look up the reactions in case you want i'm not going to delve into the industrial processes right here uh, the other methods include uh, thf can be synthesized by the catalytic hydrogenation of furan as we saw furan had two pi bonds so catalytic hydrogenation would enable the removal of those pi bonds certain sugars can be converted to thf although this method is not widely practiced furan is thus derivable from renewable resources now let's look at polymerization reactions which is the use of tetrahydrofuran in the presence of strong acids thf converts to a linear polymer called poly tetramethylene ether glycol or abbreviated as ptmeg also known as poly tetramethylene oxide or ptmo you can look at the reaction right here there are very uh, n is used to say that there are a very high number of molecules and they polymerize together to give us this linear chain the polymer is primarily used to make elastomeric polyure polyurethane fibers like spandex these are very commonly used and hence uh, we have also heard the name of spandex now let's look at other uses it is used as a solvent the main application of thf is as a industrial solvent for pvc and in varnishes it is used as as an aprotic solvent with a dielectric constant of 7.6 it is a moderately polar solvent and can dissolve a wide range of non polar and polar chemical compounds hence it is a very versatile solvent it is also water miscible and can form solid clathrate hydrate structures with water at low temperatures for more details you can look them up or i'll link the wikipedia page in the description so you can read there as, as well Now let's have a look at the laboratory uses. In the laboratory, THF is a popular solvent due to the above mentioned properties. Its what when its water miscibility is not an issue. Of course, uh, some compounds for some compounds we do not want the property of water miscibility as it can be hazardous. Hence, uh, it is used when its this property is not an issue. It is more basic than diethyl ether. and form stronger complexes with lithium plus magnesium 2 plus and boranes it is a popular solvent for hydroboration reactions and for organometallic compounds such as organolithium and grignard reagents thus while diethyl ether remains the solvent of choice for some reactions example grignard reactions thf fills that role in many others where strong coordination is desirable and the precise properties of ethereal solvents such as these alone and in mixture at various temperature allow fine tuning modern chemical reactions this means that due to the uh, high degree of variability which we have as we can control the reactions this allows us to fine tune modern chemical reactions and hence it is a very important solvent i'd also like to point out that thf is a weak lewis base that forms molecular complexes with many transition metal halides transition metal halides typical complexes are of the stoichiometry mcl3 thf holds rise m is the variable transition element 
such compounds are widely used reagents here we have the structure where the metal m is vanadium this whole molecule is vanadium cl3 thf whole thrice so this is a coordination structure in the presence of solid acid catalyst thf reacts with hydrogen sulfide to give tetrahydrothiophene so you can see that uh, it is also a very important compound in coordination chemistry in the end i'd like to conclude with some precautions concerning thf it is relatively non toxic with the median lethal dose comparable to that for acetone reflecting its remarkable solvent properties it penetrates the skin causing rapid dehydration which is similar to what acetone does thf readily dissolves latex and is typically handled with nitrile or neoprene rubber gloves it is highly flammable one danger posed by thf follows from its tendency to form highly explosive peroxides on storage in air so you can see that this is thf on reaction with oxygen from air it forms a peroxide a peroxide is a molecule where we have a oxygen oxygen single bond present so this peroxide molecule is highly explosive to minimize this problem commercial samples of thf are often inhibited with butylated hydroxytoluene which is abbreviated as bht distillation of thf to dryness is avoided because the explosive peroxides concentrate in the residue so if we had distillated the thf to dryness uh, we would have gotten explosive peroxides in the residue which could have been very harmful to us or our surroundings